All right, now that we've created our mott, the hill where the castle is going to sit on top, we want to create a moat, the little ditch that goes around the castle where all the dragons and alligators and whatever live so people won't attack our castle. But first, I have this little work plane piece of paper thing sitting on top that kind of annoys me because it's sitting there. So I'm going to go over here to the model bar. I'm going to right-click work plane, and I'm going to uncheck visibility. And now that work plane is still there, but it's invisible, so I don't have to look at it all the time. All right, so to draw our mott, I'm sorry, our moat on top of our mott, we're going to right click on the top of the mott and say new sketch. Okay, now you can make your moat whatever shape you want. Okay, I'm going to go back and make mine kind of wavy like my mott. Now you got to be careful when you make these things. If you have really sharp, pointy stuff, sometimes it doesn't work super well. And so you got to be careful with the really sharp points. Um, we could take our spline tool again once we have the outside of our moat, and we could redraw and make a new inside and make it whatever shape we wanted. But instead, I want to make mine exactly the same shape. So they have this cool tool called Offset. If you just click Offset and then click your shape, you can drag it in, or you can drag it out, and you can make the exact same shape that's just parallel to what you had. Now, if you get to a certain point, you see I got that little um, can't do sign right there. That means I can't make it any smaller because something's going to overlap or something. So when you have pointier parts, it kind of restricts you to how much you can do. But just go, you know, as thick as you as you want. You can type something in. So maybe if I wanted exactly 0.2, I hit enter, and now it's 0.2 across there. Okay, and that's it. So now you finish your sketch, and now we have to extrude that little part, the little river moat that we just made. So we click that, not the inside, not the outside, but just a little moat. Right there, so we get the little river looking thing. And of course, well look, we could make castle walls like that, but we're gonna dig it down. So we're gonna go the other way, we're gonna cut. But now if we look, we've cut it and it's like, ah, oh, that's super thick. It's going all the way through. We don't want that. So we're gonna change this instead of one inch. Let's make it like 0.25 or something like that. Okay, now my ditch is not super deep. It's pretty deep. So now if we look, we can see that in there. But it's got walls that are straight up and down. Those aren't really great. So we can do something called taper. And over here, this is what yours is usually going to look like. I'd already clicked on it. But advanced properties. If you click the triangle next to it, it should open up stuff underneath. And there's something called taper. If we click in the taper, it's going to change the angle. So instead of straight up and down, so let's put in 15 degrees and see what happens. Now you can look. Now it made my moat but it got bigger. So it's like the walls are angling out. We want them to angle in. So to change the direction, just put a negative in front of that thing. And now all of a sudden my walls taper in. Oops, go the right way so you can see it. So my walls taper in. And that looks pretty good to me. But a lot of this, you know, if you don't like it, some of us kind of just guess and check. What would it, would it look better if it was negative 25? What do we get? Okay, now it goes down to a complete point down there, right? Yeah, I kind of liked it flat on the bottom, so I'm going to try 15. And I think that looks good, so I'm going to say OK. And now, zoom back in here to the right thing, we can see that we have our moat going all the way around through our mot, and now we can draw our castle inside of this moat.